Good morning. It's, uh, let me see what time it is. Almost 10. Seems like this is our, you know, our daily starting time. Uh, it's almost 10. It was very windy last night, but the tent survived and it didn't make noise. So yeah, we are super happy, <laughs> but the car was like wobbling in the wind. Um, today we are going to drive the remainder of the track, which will lead us to these three artworks in the middle of the desert. And I think that's our end goal for today, somewhere around that area. I think we might camp there. And then tomorrow we're going to make our way to this town called Bun, Bun, Bunib, Bunab, some, something like that. I forgot. But anyway, today uh, we don't have a lot of kilometers planned, but I keep saying that every day <laughs> and we end up every day with driving a lot of kilometers. But let's see. So we're all ready to go. desert and um, some people says it's really in the middle of nowhere and I don't know if they all came from the south but we came from the north and there's like huge farms everywhere so just five kilometers before we hit the city of Orion we were still driving in between farms but it's really pretty though I but I truly don't understand why Iman why someone would build three artwork pieces in the middle of the desert doesn't make a lot of sense but it's kind of funny and there is uh, apparently two more to find in this area so we're gonna do that but first um, we're having lunch we bought this amazing bread um, in one of the villages we passed and uh, some tomato some lettuce some cheese so uh, yep that's good And the one I just showed you, which you can barely see on the GoPro, is the Golden Spiral. And now we have left the Celestial Stairs, or Stairway to Heaven, yep. something like that it was called. So let's see how that is. So we also found um, the third art installation, um, Celestial Stairs. It's pretty, uh, pretty impressive. GoPro everything seems so far away. <laughs> well it is quite far away still I must say. I guess most people will understand what this means. It's a bit unfortunate we have a puncture. I'll show you. It's, uh, it's here. It's a nail. I came right, uh, came right through a tire. She just heard it. We were playing a game, and uh, he just heard uh, some air coming. The game is called Spot the Puncture. <laughs> no, we were playing Rummy Cup. Is it also in English like that? I have no idea. I have no idea. But uh, well, still 35 though. So very slow, but it's I can hear it. So we should plug it. So we decided to only bring one spare tire because hey, we have good tires. But uh, yeah, nails obviously they go through Almost everything. 
So uh, we're gonna try and plug it and then um, tomorrow most likely we'll be in Merzuga and we'll patch it from the inside and then it's as, as good as new. Anyone wants to know how to plug a tire? Watch the coming five minutes. Oh no, it should be taking, should take less time than that. Maybe three or something like that. So Jules now putting the rubber through this thing. Sort of a stick with a hole in it. And that needs to go through the, where the... Can you please? Yes, that, that, this needs to go through where the puncture is. But first, right. you have to make the hole a little bit bigger. Rough, rougher. Rougher, more. So that's a bit counterintuitive. You can actually get it out. Oh, that's different. Ah, stupid thing. Okay, so now he's making the hole rougher. Now it goes in. It's sort of a, um, what's it called? Like a grater. And then this is hard. You have to really stick it in. We didn't bring a carpet. We should buy a carpet somewhere. <laughs> I don't think that's in far enough, huh? No. Okay. I got instructions. Very slowly, please. I think you said here. Ooh. Okay, well. This place okay? When you stick the rubber in normally, you twist it and then you uh, pull it out real fast. But I think because the first time it sort of went halfway in, um, it already got screwed up. So we're gonna try another time. It was still filming. So, Shul is the guy of many ingenious ideas. So, if you ever struggle 
with a rubber that doesn't go in the tire. Just uh, ratchet it. <laughs> in the meantime, he got injured though. But our tire is fixed. Ah, that doesn't look very nice. So yeah, one fixed tire. We're gonna patch it up tomorrow in Merzuga, I think. And uh, I think our car deserves some uh, TLC in Merzuga anyway, because it's dirty. We hear a weird noise. We have a tire that needs patching. And all that after one month on the road only, so let's see. Oh, and now it's starting to rain as well. Really? Yeah. I felt rain. I feel rain. Yep. It's almost impossible. Anyway, it's a good day for people that like to go off road. <laughs> good morning. It's uh, nine o'clock. The good thing about this place is that it's actually warm in the morning and not cold. So I don't need a sweater vest. But with that, the flies have returned. And uh, she has been killing flies the whole morning no, <laughs> again. Not. Huh? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. We just had our breakfast. Nice yogurt again with fruit. And um, after we do the dishes, it's time to, to leave. We're going to follow this track um, to Merzuga. And um, I have no idea what kind of landscapes we will see. Hopefully nice. Yeah, after this track we're gonna do a few days of relaxing because uh, I th I feel we've been going non-stop for the past, I don't even know, past week or so. So um, I think the last time we spent two nights anywhere was Marrakesh, I guess. And we've left Marrakesh already quite a while ago, so um, yeah, time for some... Uh, quieting down we need to, um, well I want to edit some videos and uh, do some other stuff so uh, that would be nice
this campsite in Merzuga, which is quite nice because look at the big trees that there are everywhere. And uh, we're sharing our campsite with um, two Austrians. Yesterday there were two more cars, but they left. And we're the only ones. Um, we did a lot of chores today. I managed to finish and upload a YouTube video. She got Billy new brake pads. Uh, what more did we do? Oh, we plugged the tire from the inside and gave Billy a wash. So he's all good. And uh, now we're gonna view the sunset on the dunes uh, here near Merzuga. Um, they're called uh, Eric Chevy. Eric Chevy. <laughs> or in Dutch, for our Dutch followers, Eric Chevy. in the dunes. Look at some of the big ones over there. I don't know if you can see it in the distance. Up to no. <laughs> Huge one. Thank you so much for watching today's video. We're ending it at our all-time favorite place in the dunes. Hope to see you next week.